As you just heard in the feed, Toyota's in a bit of a crisis right now with the Prius being added to millions of other Toyota recalls. It's time to find out if the company that was once the pride and joy of Japan can pull out of their little skid. It's a loop. Joining me now from New York to help us make sense of it all, editor-in-chief for Jalopnik.com, Ray Wirt joins us. How are you, Ray? Peachy. That's, that, the, the wink let me know. That was a very aggressive wink. Thank you for that. Um, another week, and that must mean another Toyota recall, right? I mean, this, is, this latest announcement is unrelated to the millions of cars that Toyota already recalled, right? Yeah, it's a third recall in three months. And, you know, this one is the, the halo vehicle for Toyota, the Prius. So, you know, it's going to be a question of whether or not this... Uh, this is going to be the straw that breaks a camel back, camel's back for consumers, or if it's going to be, you know, just another recall. Sure. I mean, what exactly happened on this one? I know the first, the first problem was something with the, with the gas pedals or whatever. Uh, Wozniak found problems with software. Uh, some of them were transforming and trying to kill Shia LaBeouf. Um, and now I'm told the, the brakes are failing on the Prius? Well, yeah, the, the first one was the uh, accelerator pedals getting uh, trapped by the, uh, by the floor mats. The second one was uh, an uh, uh, inability to be able to, well, let's just say it'll accelerate without your control. And the third one, this one for the Priuses, is that randomly if you hit a pothole or you hit a uh, bump, it'll, uh, it, it, it won't break. So that's enough to get, you know, the latte sipping uh, owners of Priuses to go, whoa, yeah. and drop it. <laughs> and they're, they're also still trying to figure out how to actually pluralize the word Prius. Is it Priuses or Priuses? Pri-I? Pries? I like to go with Pri-I. I, I pri like Pri-I because I like the two I's together. I don't know. It's no, it's, it's done now. And, 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 and actually, last week, Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak, he came forward with his own Prius problems. Um, do we know if there was, like, a Prius software problem like he claimed, or was that specific to his vehicle? No one really knows what's going on with Waz's Prius. What he does claim is, is that, uh, that he can get the, the car to randomly accelerate when it's on cruise control and it's set at a certain speed. He can get it to unintendedly accelerate beyond that. So if he's got it set at 73, he can get it to like 93 or something. Was he putting in the contra totally code on his radio or something? Like how is he? <laughs> I, I don't know. He's, yeah, he's got like an up, up, down, down, left, right, yeah. left, right. He's just DA, shifting. You know, and... the on start button. Yeah. And, and why is, why is Toyota having all of these problems? I mean, are, are they reluctant to, to make changes? Well, they got big really fast. And also because, you know, they build the happy Prius. I mean, they've never had to do crisis management before. They don't know what it's like to have a target on your back. Mm -hmm. They should talk to Ford and GM about that. I'm sure they can give them some tips. Right. And, and, and to that point, it seems like uh, everybody from, uh, you know, politicians here in America to, to the big auto automakers here, they seem to be almost celebrating this, right? Like this should be helping the, the sales of, of the Fords of the world. And yet it doesn't seem to be, right? I mean, the, the last I checked, it seems that the Prius, the, the prices haven't dropped and they still seem to be selling just fine. Well, actually, I mean, they're not selling, well, they're not selling certain vehicles right now, and it remains to be seen whether or not the Prius is going to be continued to be sold after this week, if, a, if it's a full recall that's announced. Mm. But the, uh, uh, what is bad for Toyota is apparently very good for U.S. automakers, and they're seeing a sharp uptick in sales. They are. Whereas Toyota, um, well, they're not. They, they had 18% drop in January, and uh, the question is whether or not in February or March it'll still, they'll still be showing a sales decline. Although uh, my bet is, is that in the next couple of months, they're going to be doing just fine and they'll be resuming their world domination plans. Sure, sure. Uh, is this bad news? I mean, obviously, you said they're going to be fine in a couple of months, but is this bad news for the, the notion of, of hybrid vehicles? Or are consumers at this point educated enough to go, okay, that's this brand. It's not going to affect all brands. We should be just fine. I don't know if it's that we're educated enough. I think it's that we're enough of cattle. So we're, we will, you know, we'll blindly accept this. This will be fine. Uh, we'll just go, yeah, eh. <laughs> moving on to something else. Yeah, yeah. Dangle some shiny keys and we'll be distracted in that direction. Um, uh, final exactly. word, Ray. If someone's looking to buy a new car, is there any reason to not consider a Toyota other than that it could be your impending death? <laughs> well, it's boring. Uh, how about that? But otherwise, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Thanks to Ray Wirt from Jalotnik.com for joining us. Thank you for keeping us in the loop, sir.